Tight, steep switchback corners are really hard to get right. Sometimes you don't ever really get them right, you just wobble around them and off you go. Uh, they tend to be more in sort of steep situations. Some parts of the Alps have endless amounts of tight switchbacks. When you have a switchback and you make it steep, it really does increase the technicality of it, but also the risk. So this is how to master tight, steep switchbacks. This trail is called Little Champry here in Finale de Gura, and it's named after the infamous World Cup downhill track where Sam Hill entered mountain bike folklore when he almost won the race after a torrential downpour. This trail isn't quite as steep and as technical as that track, but it still gets the heart rate going. When things get steep, it's more comfortable to have a higher bar and a shorter stem. So it just makes it easier to get your weight to the back of the bike. By dropping your heels, your hips go to the back. When the downhill races go to places like Champry or Andorra, you're likely to see more spaces go underneath their stems. Sometimes they'll drop their triple clamp forks through the crowns just to raise the bars as well. And a good set of grippy tires is really gonna help. Now I know this corner isn't a really tight or steep switchback, but let's start with the fundamentals here and hopefully we'll carry them on to the ones that do get a bit harder. So it's really important that you try and come into this corner in control. So that means setting up nicely, so doing most of your braking so that you know you're gonna grip around this corner before you get here, getting as wide as possible and then trying to come off the brakes around the corner. Again, always trying to look to the exit. That is gonna get more important the tighter it gets. Right, the corners are starting to get tighter down here and uh, the thing that's really important with all corners is to really look for your exit, but it becomes more important where things get more risky on a steep tight switchback, sometimes you might be out of control mid corner and that's just the way it is. You've just got to get the bike facing the other way sort of across the fall line, but it's really important you hit that mark on the way out because going wide on a corner like this means that you're going off that steep hillside and probably tumbling or falling potentially quite a long way. Man, this trail is amazing. I love the way it's built. The good thing about it as well, when they come to get in a bit tighter, they're actually fairly well sort of banked and built in. So on this trail, there's loads of grip. You're not always gonna get that on tight, steep switchbacks. I try and think of corners as three parts, really. So uh, entry, I've talked about already, setting up in control, mid corner, and then exit. I did say before as well about trying to get as wide as you can. Uh, to be honest, in this situation, I'm not sure I'm gonna. I feel that if I come up here, it's really narrow, so it feels to me like I wanna be turning in already. And to do that, you have to go really fast. Otherwise, you'll end up sort of getting turning across here and end up too far inside. This is where I'm kind of improvising. It feels to me like the middle might be better. I could try it and it could be wrong. So this is a situation, if I was racing downhill, I'd probably try both. As I'm just out for a fun ride, I'll just go with my first choice. It's always good to try and get off your brakes in a corner, but the situations, of course, if the hill's uh, steep, you're gonna need to be dragging your brakes. So I'm gonna be braking hard anyway into the entry of this corner and turning in. I'm definitely still gonna be braking. Hopefully, at about mid part through the corner, I can then start coming off the brakes to really try and get the best amount of grip. Uh, again, this is a really nice corner, loads of support, actually a lot of grip today. So what I'm trying to do is trying to get my weight to the outside the bike and the way I'm doing that is just bringing my hips. If my hips are above the saddle and I turn in, my weight is directly sort of above the bike, but kind of to the inside of the corner. So really I want to try and bring him to the outside. It's much more stable for your weight to be sort of, uh, sort of more central. Like if you're looking at where the tires are gripping on the floor, if your weight's to the outside, it's much nearer. If it's to the inside, you're really hanging off 
the inside of that tire and it's not gonna get as much grip. So smooth around the mid turn, like I've said already, ease off the brakes and get ready for the next one. So this is pretty much as steep as you could ride, really. This is getting much more like the old Champery. Luckily, it's dry and it's grippy today. So it's super steep. And obviously, at this part of the corner, mid-corner, you're riding across the full line of the hill. So if I look down from here, there's like a 20-foot drop, and then there's probably a 40-foot drop. So and at this point in the corner, you're heading straight towards it, and there's nothing there to stop you. So it's really dangerous, of course. And it's a real balancing act of, coming in super slow, you've got to brake like really hard on this. Let off the brakes too early, you won't make that corner, but brake too much, you really risk sliding out. So you've got to be really committed, you've got to be confident to do this, but really make sure you hit that uh, patch over there and don't go over the back of this corner, otherwise there's big consequences. Practice, practice, practice. Tight switchbacks are never easy, and when you make them steep as well, it gets super hard. The big thing to try and remember is even if you forget everything else, try and look to the exit and hope it gets you around there. There is definitely a satisfaction in nailing them though. Right, if you want to see another video about some cornering fundamentals, always get rough down here, then click on the bottom left hand side of the screen. Whoa, for how to break like a pro over there as well. Give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button.